I only got one shot at this because I'm running out of daylight. But do you guys ever like? You think about a deck of cards. You think you've got the king and the queen. You got the knight, and prince. You got got your magician. You got sun card, moon card. I know what else. The Wheel of Fortune. There's all kinds of shit. Um, the tower. There's there's a thousand different archetypes, and uh, like, are we do, are we doing a disservice to our fellow human? If if I may be so official to even say it like that, uh, to be calling everyone kings and queens. It's, I, I, I guess because I'm thinking on one hand it's good to aim for the stars to, to give yourself so, to feel good about yourself what up king people always say to me what up king I'm like I'm not a king like, or what up what up queen all you queens and I get the intention behind it but I don't feel it you know what I mean and it's something to, it's almost like it's gotten to the point where it's just something you say now it's like a greeting. It's like, hey, everyone, welcome to the channel. Subscribe. What up, kings and queens? And it's like, ooh, I'm in, I feel special. I'm a king. Like, they called Mickey A. And I, like, some of us are kings and queens. Some of y'all are kings and queens. Like, don't get me wrong. It just, for, there's two things that come up with that. One, I'm sorry, but you're not all kings and queens. Like, some of you guys uh, don't know the first thing about being kings or queens, myself included an actual king because we're talking about language we're talking about what people want to aspire to what sort of uh groundwork we're laying for the future that we want to have i'll give you an example here's a knight and here's a king a knight traditionally um young adventurous explorer sort of throws all care to the wind puts himself in danger life-threatening situations goes for the thr sort of a thrill seeker um charges headfirst into battle shoot first ask questions later just follows orders very individualistic right king has the entire kingdom or queen has the entire kingdom to look after it's not just themselves and because of that, the two archetypes of, say, the, the king and the knight um, represent where people are in their lives. And so if I'm out there calling everyone a king, it's like, are you really a king or do you just like, oh, like, I'm a king. But do you really embody what it means to be a king? Do you really embody what it means to be a queen? Because a queen's not going to throw herself in danger for thrill seeking. It's not going to disappear into the woods on a quest or an adventure, leaving the entire kingdom behind. Like the sacrifice that someone who rules an entire group of people, like the, the sacrifice that goes into that is huge. A good ruler, king, good queen, if we're having the conversation, is someone that puts the land before them. And that's just two things. And you got, you've got the jester. Maybe, like maybe some people have like no intentions of being kings or queens and they're happy being the gesture, the jester. Or the, the guy who's just behind the scenes, influences, gets to bump shoulders with all the high class people, but is sort of out of the limelight. They can come and go as they please because no one would know the difference, but they still have influence on the court. You know what I mean? Or someone wants to be the princess or the prince who wants royalty, but doesn't want any of the responsibilities of decision making. They want to go on their little hunts whenever they want sort of fall off the map and have no response. Like, we're all at different stages in our life. And I... What's my point? Keith, what's your point? My, I guess my point is... Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I have a point. It's more, it's more of a ramble. I don't know. It, I'm just... I'm tired of being spoken to... And speaking to people as if I'll bear the burden of the responsibility because I have used king and queen in this sense a number of times. So I'll just refer to myself. I'm tired of speaking to people as if they're as if they're fucking like cogs in my machine. Like, oh, like what's up, king and queen? Yeah, feel good about yourself so you can subscribe to my channel. Or 
hey, look at me. I'm one of those people that refers to everyone as kings and queens because, like, this is the world that we do. And it's like, I, realistically, I've talked to a lot of, I've met a lot of fucking people who are even in this world and they're by no means kings or queens, very fucking far from it, who who believe it and, 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 and I don't know, anywho. Um, that was the first thing. The second thing, see if I can get this before we run out of light, is... Not all of us were built to be the queens or the kings. Look, a lot, a lot of how we are and, 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 and how we show up in the world and how we want to progress and what makes us thoroughly happy is some of us could be peasants. Like when I think of myself, I don't think of myself as a king. Not at all. Like that, when people say that to me, it sounds, it's, I feel like I'm like a joke when someone says like, what up king? Like I... Or people say that like on my dreadlock videos. Someone with a mane of hair like, what up, king? And it's like, just because I have... If I were to embody something randomly, like something I fantasize a lot as my my happy place is not ruling a kingdom on my throne, commanding armies. It's like ch chilling next to the fire, drinking beers with the homies. Like think of the Shire. There's music playing in the corner. Um, see, there's a band and people are laughing and kids are running around the grass barefooted because the grass is nice and thick and lush and soft. And there's, there's fresh ass food that was just harvested. Um, you know what I mean? Like, like that Shire party where Bilbo Baggins 11th birthday, that, like, that, and that's a peasant, man. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but that's a goddamn peasant as far as a king is concerned. And think about the wizards. Like some of you don't want to be kings. Some of you are down to be wizards. Like be Gandalf. You come, you you, you take people away. You show up twenty years later, and you, you have all these tricks and fireworks, and people are like, oh, but the wizards back, and there's only a few of you, and you're kind of like mysterious and kind of keep to yourself. There's there's so the biggest the bigger point I'm trying to make in this video is. Have a little more fun with the archetypes that we take on. You know what I mean? Like, don't get, don't get caught up in the jargon of whatever your particular culture is. Like I'm not I'm not as extreme as Terrence McKenna to say culture is not your friend and the enemy. It can be, but culture is can, culture is, is created by the individual or the individuals that are coming together and repeating certain things. So it's like we can build wonderful culture new cultures and evolve them and work on them and it's like we, we don't have to be a byproduct of you don't have to be a byproduct of your instagram feed you scroll through instagram and you see your top 20 posts You're, you don't have to be a result of those 20 things or you go to facebook and you scroll down you don't have to be a, a an accumulation of the 12 most recent posts how they think and how they feel and how they talk and agree with them and if they don't agree with something by default you don't agree with something you know what i mean it's like there's so much that i don't know i just feel like there could be a lot more interesting dialogues a lot more interesting parties that we throw a lot more interesting music that we make a lot more interesting conversations that we have a lot more interesting youtube videos that we watch a lot of more interesting youtube huge million plus subscriber youtubes that we follow you know what i mean um like I've, i just stumbled across this youtube channel this guy who sits who inspired me to do this fire and he just talks about what it's like to live in the colonial america talks about how people lived how they fished how they hunted how they died how they made love how they talked to each other and it's just like whoa what an interesting perspective to have like what a, what a cool thing to experience this dude who just dresses like a, like a 1500s colonial and he just like goes about his life living that and, and, and that, that's one tiny niche in a world full of things and and one of my favorite things which is spirituality and like this stuff that we talk about it, it, it gets so like boring I get so boring and I hunt and I hunt. Anywho, holy shit, it's getting super dark. Well, thanks for chilling this long, you guys. 
Um, I'll see you in the next video, alright? Alright. Peace out.